to you by walt whitman read for LibriVox.org by capricia page whoever you are i fear you are walking the walks of dreams i fear these supposed realities are to melt from under your feet and hands even now your features joys speech house trade manners troubles follies costume crimes dissipate away from you your true soul and body appear before me they stand forth out of affairs out of commerce shops law science work forms clothes the house medicine print buying selling eating drinking suffering dying whoever you are now i place my hand upon you that you be my poem i whisper with my lips close to your ear i have loved many women and men but i love none better than you oh i have been dilatory and dumb i should have made my way straight to you long ago i should have blabbed nothing but you i should have chanted nothing but you i will leave all and come and make hymns of you none have understood you but i understand you none have done justice to you you have not done justice to yourself none but have found you imperfect i only find no imperfection in you none but would subordinate you i only am he who will never consent to subordinate you i only am he who places over you no master owner better god beyond what waits intrinsically in yourself painters have painted their swarming groups and the centre figure of all from the head of the centre figure spreading a nimbus of gold-coloured light but i paint myriads of heads but paint no head without its nimbus of gold-coloured light from my hand from the brain of every man and woman it streams effulgently flowing for ever oh i could sing such grandeur and glories about you you have not known what you are you have slumbered upon yourself all your life your eyelids have been the same as closed most of the time what you have done returns already in mockeries your thrift knowledge prayers if they do not return in mockeries what is their return the mockeries are not you underneath them and within them i see you lurk i pursue you where none else has pursued you silence the desk the flippant expression the night the accustomed routine if these conceal you from others or from yourself they do not conceal you from me the shaved face the unsteady eye the impure complexion if these balk others they do not balk me the pert apparel the deformed attitude drunkenness greed premature death all these i part aside there is no endowment in man or woman that is not tallied in you there is no virtue no beauty in man or woman but as good as in you no pluck no endurance in others but as good as in you no pleasure wanting for others but an equal pleasure waits for you as for me i give nothing to any one except i give the like carefully to you i sing the songs of the glory of none not god sooner than i sing the songs of the glory of you whoever you are claim your own at any hazard these shows of the east and west are tame compared to you these immense meadows these interminable rivers you are immense and interminable as they these furies elements storms motions of nature throes of apparent dissolution you are he or she who is master or mistress over them master or mistress in your own right over nature elements pain passion dissolution the hopples fall from your ankles 
you find an unfailing sufficiency, old or young, male or female, rude, low, rejected by the rest, whatever you are promulges itself, through birth, life, death, burial, the means are provided, nothing is scanted, through angers, losses, ambition, ignorance, ennui, what you are picks its way. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.